Welcome back to Terraria, Legendary Zenith Moon. Doing all kinds of stuff here. <laughs> Gonna be going fighting Skeletron in a bit. But we got a few things we need to deal with first. You know the bonefish? Yes, we do. Do we need to keep doing fishing quests? Probably not really. But we can, anyways. Stuff away. Alright. Let us. Hark some plants here. Eh. We really need to. We, we got a lot. The witch doctor was slain. Why? Witch doctor? Where were you at? <laughs> That might be a... No, we have to defeat Skeletron. Where's the witch doctor? Not gonna worry about it. Not gonna worry about it. Anyways! <laughs> yeah, a few things we need to put away places. We probably don't need all these bee summonings. <laughs> it's probably not necessary. I bugged in here. Extra one of these. Any other extras we have? Yes. Don't need duplicate things here. There's like things spawning. That's good. Got the pointy snap thorn in here too. That's for the summoning damage, kinda, I guess. Not super important. And the house sets here. Okay, that's fine. So a few things here that we don't need. Like all these. A couple of gold. I'll take it. And. Should be good. Got a few other things to put in the various chests here. Got a hive wand, which is another placing things kind of thing. Got some bee cosmetics. Always a fun time. Those in. Cosmetic chest? Cosmetic chest is kind of full. But it's also kind of full of duplicates of things, so. That's fine too. Multiple goggles. The witch doctor has arrived again. He's just up here. Might be a defeat the queen bee kind of system here. How you doing? Yeah, the imbuing station. Craft weapon imbuement flasks. Okay, that, that could be useful. Got one of those. A blowgun. Water fountains. And the pylon. Okay. Might check the imbuing station. That could be helpful. Okay, anywhere we can put this. Not exactly. Uh-huh. Here it is, then. <laughs> and we can put this NPC in a different location here. Witch Doctor, you can be in here with the imbuing station. That seems appropriate. They will not be able to get there by themselves, because they are incapable of jumping. So, <laughs> yeah. And everybody's celebrating our victories. It's the Queen Bee. It's always nice. We got some bee wax and bee nades here. Very fun. Can use this to make the summoning set here. Just uses a lot of these. Got enough for the entire thing. 10, 22. Just barely not. Make a hornet staff. That's just gonna be a bit worse than the imp staff. Can make more bee nades with that. It's fine too. 
and the Hive 5 yo-yo. Amazing. Presumably this is going to have a summoning set bonus here, too. Could go ahead in that way. Looks like we're going to need more beeswax, which would mean fighting the bee again. B, B, yeah. If we want to get this full set, we're going to need fight the queen bee again. Which I'm not opposed to. Could be a good time. We don't need multiple sets of ancient shadow greaves. Sell those. Yeah, I still need the legs for that. And then bee nays explodes into a swarm of bees. Well, that's always a good time. Clearly. Another explosive. Grenade. Bee nade. Amazing. Shop. Sell some of these. I think we can also put at least a few of these weapons away for now. Like the space gun. We definitely need to get better things for going through walls than the vile thorn here. We also have the star fury, so that's fine too. We got we've got options. We've got options. And one of the options that we need to look into here more is potion based. We are running almost completely out of Inferno potions. And I would like to have more Inferno potions for bosses and stuff. So we are going to go hit up the lava fishing area. Will also potentially help to get the infinite lava bucket. Would be nice. Got the flare fin koi and the other one. Hop on over to our lava here. Once we have an infinite lava bucket, we'll be able to put this in a better location. Fishing set on. All the way down here. Not immune to lava. That's not gonna work. Oh, I think we should be getting more than a set of things here. Put away all the other potions so we can more comfortably just press the buffs button for fishing here. We're gonna get some crates and stuff. So that's always fun. <laughs> I think technically we might not want we might want to not get more crates. Because it would decrease the amount of fish that we get here, potentially. I also think the lava bucket's not in the crates, so. Either way. We're still rocking the slightly slower fishing speed. Ow. Slightly slower fishing speed of not having the fiery fishing rod yet. But still okay. We just need to get plenty of the obsidifish and fly fin koi, basically. Well, that's the goal here. We got plenty of bait, so that's not gonna be a problem. It will be nice if we can get the lava up to somewhere less annoying. Like right near base, because we totally could with an infant lava bucket. Trying to actually make a pool of anything without the infinite bucket, definitely not a good time. <laughs> Probably not gonna do that. We managed to move a tiny amount of honey into the main base in order to make a regeneration honey pool there. Not that, not what we need right now. Got all the fancy fishing information over here now. Got 107 fishing power. It's a new moon. Got the time, the weather. There's a chest nearby. 
a voodoo demon. We're doing 69 damage per second from that time that we whacked the imp there, I guess. We're not moving. We got our locations. Very good. Very good. Yeah, we will see how Skeletron goes here. Could be difficult. Since it has been difficult previously. Boy, the fiery fishing rod would really help here, wouldn't it? Probably why we won't do massive amounts of fishing here. Oh, he's not, not catching anything there. Just enough to get more of the potions made, ideally. This is definitely a large enough lava pool here, so that's not the problem at all. We got a lava absorbent sponge. We already had that. Really, just do want to get the lava bucket. Should be should be basically the same drop rate as the sponge there. Eh. Luckily, that demon's not summoning the wall flesh here. It's also why we kind of don't bring the imp out here or fishing because it is likely to kill things and then potentially summon the wall flash or just kill things and then summon in the imps or worms here and then they just kind of attack through the walls and stuff which is slightly inconvenient obviously great Refresh the crate potion. There we go again. Nothing super crazy. Lot of fishing. Pretty relaxing. As most fishing is. How many sonar potions do we have? Eh, a few. Still can't make sonar potions because you can't really get the items required. Well, that's okay. We also want to do fishing in some other locations, eventually, for targeted collection of all the various special fish. One we could tr go try to get right now would be the one required for summoning potions. I don't think that's hugely necessary. We're doing fine. In fact, depending on if the projectile from the summon just bounces off Skeletron, we might not even want it. Because <laughs> the projectile is bouncing off and hitting us is not very convenient. Not very convenient at all. We're going to be trying to use the B gun. See how that goes. The benefits of just being able to run around not worry about aiming at all. It's pretty nice. Although the damage last time did not seem to be super impressive. With the amount of bees that we can throw at the problem, we can accomplish a lot. Let's have 22 of those, 13 of those. Yeah. I have to go through another set of potions here. Just because we know we're going to take many deaths. Most likely here on Skeletron and absolutely in the future against other bosses. So. I think we can get the fishing rod after this. So. Just a little bit of fishing. Just a little bit. Now we have two voodoo demons flying around. My goodness. Probably fine. It's probably fine. Wall flesh will probably be interesting. It's already quite the wall. There's the lava bucket. Alright. I think I'm good now. We'll finish off these potions and then we can be gone. We could even be gone right now. Set up a new lava fishing place. But that would be wasting some of the potion timer here. 
So we'll just wait the extra minute. That will be good. This will do nicely. Yeah, we will see. Skeletron here. If the bees don't work, then we also have the Zapinator and Demon Scythe. The Zapinator, I think, wasn't bouncing off. Demon Scythe wasn't either. The Space Gun was, though, so. Really depends on what counts as a projectile, I guess. And defense is also something we obviously need to worry about for the bosses. If we're just slowly tickling them, that's a lot more time to stand around trying not to get hit by things. Or sprint around trying not to get hit by things. More like. Okay, let's see what we got in here. Here we got a regular little lava bucket. Replace that. I think bottomless lava bucket. We already have the lava sponge here. That's perfect. Some of these wood things. I need that. An empty bucket there. Looks like we don't have a. Water sponge yet. That's okay. Okay. So we don't need two other lava sponges here. Let me get rid of those. Yep. Ten gold each for these. Fishing. It can be pretty profitable. And Lava Buck has no value. Okay. Lots of stuff has no value. That's alright. Put the fishing stuff away here. And we're also going to have all of the crates to open. We did leave the chest down there. That's, that's not good. Oh boy. <laughs> Sandstorm. <laughs> that does make things slightly difficult here. Alright. Nice little fine. Wind effects. Underground. It's definitely a thing. And supplies. This way. Rod. Realistically, we don't use the lesser baits here. We need the weather moon phase and fish information all the time. Not right now. Let's open up these. A lot of stuff. <laughs> what else we can put away? We have the flame marker boots and love proof fishing hooks we don't need more of. Let's sell those. Oh. That is just even more money. Delightful. Okay. Let's make some potions here. And switch back to the combat side. We need Inferno Potions and some Magic Power Potions, for the most part. Those are the main thing we're running low on. Also getting a little low on Thorns Potions, make more of those. I think we accomplished that. Just grab all the plants here. I got like easy. Thorns, like... Cactus, we need fallen stars, antlion mandibles, something like that. Right. Magic power potions. A few dozen of those. And thorns potions, that's just cactus, pretty good. A few dozen of those. And. 
Inferno potions. As many as we can have. Just 18. Pretty good. I'll put the set of fish back here. All the potion making supplies away. We need the antline mandibles. It was for a different potion I was looking at. Where's the death weed? <laughs> there it is. Automatically sorted. Can be sometimes a bit of a thing. Right, there we go. Then we got 20 Inferno potions, 30, 30, 30, 30, 40 thorns. 25 iron skin, 20 mana regen, and only a few more medium seafood dinners here. We can definitely make more of those. We'll get the other medium size buffs here too. That should be fine. It's like these ones make the good dinners or something. That's fine. Alright, what set do we want on? The Maximum mana and regen, definitely. If we're using the bee gun here. Look at all these bees. Just bouncing off stuff, it's fine. We got the hive pack on, increasing the strength of friendly bees. We also have a chance to dodge attacks. Less damage taken, dashing. We don't have the regen or the extra power jumps. Which could be helpful. It's got so many good things. It's hard to decide which ones we want to keep on at all times here. Anyways, let's get over to the arena here. Set things up. And by set things up, I specifically mean let there be blood. Blood. Does it do a lot of damage? No. No, it doesn't. That's okay. Alright. Yeah, it's pretty good. And we will buff up here. That's all the buffs. Yep. Yep. Run away. mobility from the less everything. Not particularly helping. Yep. You two dodge the hands, basically. And the head, too. Preferably. Obviously. The mana going here. Yep. Yep. We need to stay closer so the bees can catch up. The farther away we are, the faster the head goes. Hands are almost dead though, which is either a good thing or a bad thing. It means more things start happening. Like the skulls and the mages and stuff. These take out the mages pretty well. So they just kind of keep spawning. Dark casters. Get 
Damage! Definitely not super impressive there. Temporary regen. Kind of do like the movement. More movement is nice. What do we want to get... What are we going to not wield then? The dash allows us to also get away from things. Just dodging attack entirely is great. Hive pack presumably is helping with the bees. Maybe just don't go with the worm scarf. We'll take 17% more damage, but we will be able to jump better. Pros and cons, I suppose. We'll see how it feels. As long as we don't make this area become a graveyard, we should be able to keep having the guy spawn here. Here. I'm sure the guy's spot in here. Okay. Dungeons. Mana regen is definitely not the problem here. Close. It's close. And then that's also a problem. Can't get pinned by the hands. That's the main problem. So, reach in here, dodge and attack. Delightful. Is there a mimic in here? <laughs> Don't really need that right now. Yep, there's the mimic. And a salamander. Amazing. Love that. Dodge. Yep. with bees. The bees are not doing a great job keeping up. That's the main thing here. Yep. Dodge attack there. You do be spinning though. down. Now we're gonna get skulls and stuff spawning, and we're dead. <laughs> okay. The bees just don't seem to keep up very well. We can try the Zappinator. If we do that, we're gonna want to not have the men regen potions. You can switch between them, perhaps. I think the Zapier is just a better choice. Between the B's low damage and inability to catch up. I think we got better options here. What are we thinking? Still this. Taking less damage would be great, obviously. Movement out of the way is very helpful in itself. Dodging attack entirely 
It's also better than taking less damage. I think if we dodge the attack entirely, we don't need to worry about the debuff, perhaps, that comes with it. I guess we're not using the B, and we don't need to have that on. Very nice for basically not this. That should work. We'll give it a shot, at least, in a literal sense. Pew, pew. <laughs> Does mean we need to, again, concern ourselves with aiming, though, unfortunately. It's not ideal. Get the uh, blood back. We keep it in the middle of the screen, too, we can get more blood effects going. Which is always great. Okay. Buffs. Is it bouncing? Lots of bouncing. That's no good. Pops is only bouncing in spinny face. Just kind of avoid shooting during spinny phase. Perhaps will be okay. First time I shoot the hands. That seems like we're doing more damage. Have some skulls and things now. Not great. Yep, spinny phase again. We can just kind of keep inside the area. Do like the burning effect damage. Now we're stuck inside. That's not great. Bounced off a dark caster. Okay. Yeah, I just don't think that. I mean, we can switch to the bees during spinny phase. Not that they were going to do anything. I guess we want the regen potions for that at least. We're going to switch to Demon Scythe during the spinny phase. Again, though, we want the regen potions for that. Probably the Scythe would be better. Runs into it. Could help. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, the damage was definitely more there with the Zappinator. So it should be good. The bees just were not quite cutting it. If the bees were faster, that would definitely help. But they're not. So, here we are. Is he not back yet? Inconsiderate. Not coming back. So I can try to kill him again. I don't to, like, leave. Come back. Let's start spawn point here, it's not really what we want. Spawn point here. Wait for tomorrow. What's, what's the fishing quest right now? Did you get that already? Pengfish. You have those. Well, you have like two of them. Still. There you go. Golden bug net. I need another one of those. I saw that. Get some money. Delightful. And we can also sell, sell these godly mace. Not quite what we need. And another painting, of course. 
big zombie there. Just gonna wait. It's really awkward when he does doesn't show up randomly. <laughs> What do you think? Start of the next day, they'll show up. Maybe the next night. Inconvenient, all things considered. Okay, the merchants arrived. Arrived where, though? There, there he is. The fact that we have so many separate locations. Really means that the Charlie Merchant can be pretty much anywhere. It's got ears, a hairpin, yellow counterweight for a yo yo, fedora, a from analyzer, D, and a painting. Nothing we really need. Still not here. I can just make this guy show up. <laughs> This is regular B level, without any B bonuses from the B bonus pack thing. That was impressive. Alright. Last time that the old man was missing is because it looked like there was like a graveyard situation. Not right now though. Could be a spawns back in at night kind of business. Just just wait for that, I guess. Okay, he's back now. <laughs> Only waited a little bit. Weird. Anyways. Honey bass. Buffs. Great start. It's not actually what I wanted to do. It's kind of working though. itself is pretty decent. What did we hit? I'll oh, see casters here already. Great. Oh boy. I don't know if we can just get rid of these guys. Is the problem? That could be a job for the bees, maybe. Switching between weapons is an extra thing I don't want to have to deal with. So if we don't want to have to switch between weapons, let's just have the scythe go in here. For that we want the regen. High pack's not going to be too helpful. Yeah, let's try just the scythe. It's faster to cast, more difficult to aim, because it takes a while. Especially when the times is just slowly coming towards us, we can just lay out a pile of demon scythes. And the problem solves itself, basically. Scarf. Right back. Beautiful. Graves down there. Let there be blood. The goodness. Okay. 
There's definitely stuff happening. Okay. Buffs. Way over there. Ow. The further away we are, I think the faster Zotron also goes. It's also a problem. Oh, yeah. Skull's coming. Oh my gosh. Well, he took out two hands there, at least. Both of them. Oh, these extra dark casters are gonna be a problem. That and all the little skulls, too. And the slowdown and everything. Everything's a problem. Everything's a problem. Clearly. Just need to not get hit. That's the... That's the winning strategy here. Just don't get hit. <laughs> It's a lot easier to dodge around when we don't need to think about where we're aiming with the B gun. It just doesn't do much damage, is the problem. There's a lot of problems, obviously. Not having to switch to a different weapon is pretty good though. Okay, you can get out of here. Really? Doing damage? Out of here. Skull guy? Rude. Yeah, other things also spawning in during the fight doesn't help at all. Obviously. We're seeing that bee down there. I feel like we sometimes have less buffs. I love starting off the fight by getting hit. It's really good. Move it. Mana. There's the hands. Uh... Try to at least. <laughs> and uh, and uh, man, that's a mana regen. Love to see it. And that is. Both. The hands taken care of. All the spawns. Mana. I'm fine otherwise. Nice spinning. Any of these guys spawn in front of us while we are. Trying to run away from the spinning. It's not a good time. Heal. Alright. Yep. Yep. Siltron's been defeated. There you go. Wow. 
Honestly, went better than expected. Skeletron Relic. Skeletron Treasure Bag. We get Skeletron Hand Equipable and the Quick Bone Glove. Shoots crossbones at enemies while you are attacking. That is. Here? Uh, where you attack and it also attacks another attack. How does, how does that work with very fast? Oh my gosh. It just shoots out a bunch of little bones here. And Skeletron Hand. That is. A a two bit a two part hook here, I guess. At least further. Eh, not really. I don't think that's very good. Yeah. Additional attacks is pretty fun, though. Just whenever we're attacking, it just fires off additional things. It seems like things are attacking in here somehow. Well, it's full of honey for some reason. Go solve that problem. You attack that stuff. The clothier has arrived. Okay. Get the honey out of here. Now we have options. We got regen, we got defense, movement, damage. Get the honey out of here. Wild stuff. Wild stuff. Very hurt. That's okay. Alright. Let's get back to base here then. <laughs> here is the cool here. You have vague memories type of woman and throwing her in a dungeon. Yeah, we need to go to the dungeon. That's got stuff for us. We'll move the clovier here. We need to look into all the things that we get for having done Skeletron here. Because there's definitely a list. Some guys now will give us more things. Gives us access to more stuff in shops. Lots of good stuff. The hand in here. Also means we have access to the dungeon. That's always a good time. Let's put the potions away here. Or drink one, unfortunate. <laughs> I got a big ol' fire around us, so we'll count that as a win. We need to make more seafood dinners. But you guys make the good seafood dinners. The ones we want, I mean, is this even the good ones? 14 minute duration. It looks like it. From two honey fins. Uh, the only other thing that makes is like a regen kind of thing. Two of those, two of those, two of those. That's fine. Let's keep these two. Remember that these are the fish that are good for this. 40 more of those. 11 more of those. So I guess we head into the dungeon. This is going to be a lot of good stuff to get in there. Should be quite something. Next time. Goodbye.